in pharmaceutical process castor oil of at castor oil at 30 degrees celsius flows over a flat plate at 8 cm per second plate is 5 meter long and is heated uniformly and maintained the thermal conductivity layer thickness at the trailing edge you have to find out local heat transfer you have to find out at the end of the plate and the total heat flux from the surface of the plate per unit width and you also find out drag force density is given to you alpha is given nu is given and k is given the fluid temperature is given as 30 degrees celsius the velocity is velocity of the fluid is 8 cm per second is 0 0.08 meter per second the length of the plate is 5 meter the wall temperature is 90 degrees celsius you want to find out the hydrodynamic boundary layer thickness that is delta hx at l equals to l we have to find out delta t at x equal to l you have to find out hx that is the local heat transfer coefficient at x equal to L. To find out the heat transfer we also required the value of H and for drag force half into CD into rho into A into U infinity square. CD is called as coefficient of drag which is equals to the average friction coefficient that is CFL. So we have a plate here the fluid is moving this one is U infinity this is x equals to L that is trailing H this one is leading edge x equal to 0 so we are given here let's classify the problem so that we can use the tables so this is a force conversion problem because velocity is given oil is flowing over the plate so this is an external flow problem and our geometry is a flat plate only thing that to go to the particular table we have to identify the flow is laminar or flow is turbulent to identify the flow laminar or turbulent we have to find out Reynolds number. So let's find out Reynolds number over the entire plate that is REL is called as total Reynolds number. The characteristic length for the flat plate external flow is same as the dimension measured parallel to the flow which is equals to L. U infinity is given as 0 0.08 meter per second. Length of the plate is 5 meter. Kinematic viscosity is given to you 7.2 10 to the power minus 5. So we can calculate an old number here. The Reynolds number come out to be 5538.46. It is known that the critical Reynolds number for the external flow is 5 into 10 to the power 5. So this number is less than 5 into 10 to the power 5. So therefore entire flow is laminar. So this is how we define the problem completely. Now we can go to the table of force convection, external flow, plate and laminar flow. So you go to the table of laminar flow and find out the uh, relation for delta hx. So just go to the index and check out your page number. But before this we calculate the Prandtl number which is given as nu by alpha nu is 7.2 and alpha is given to us so 7.2 divided by 0.65 so that answer will come approximately equals to 1.1 the hydrodynamic boundary layer thickness at any distance x is given by 5 multiplied by x multiplied by local and all number to the power minus 0.5 all this data is given in the table you want to find out delta h at x equal to l so we replace all x by l so this will be 5 multiplied by l multiplied by rel to the power minus 0.5 so we have 5 multiplied by length of plate is 5 meter and the Reynolds number we have calculated is 5538.46 to the power minus 0.5 so this is 0.3354 meters now in the same table we also find one relation for thermal boundary layer thickness and it is given as delta delta Tx equals to delta Hx into Pr that is Prandtl number to the power minus 0.33. You know the value of delta Hx is 0.3354. So we have to substitute for 0.3354. Prandtl number is 1.1 .1 to the power minus 0.33. So this answer will be the thermal boundary layer thickness at a trailing edge and the approximate answer is 0.324 that is meters. So entire flow is laminar 
now we want to use again the correlation so you have to again check the same table that is the laminar flow for force convection external flow and flat plate the correlation for this one is available is local Nusselt number which is 0.332 rex to the power 0.5 prandial to the power 0.33 so you can calculate the local result uh, since we are calculating at x equal to l so we have same value of rel and if you substitute for rex and prandial number you get this answer is 25.54 in all laminar cases your local Nusselt number if multiplied by 2 you always get the average value of number this is true for everything that is even for cfx and the value for nux so NUL is come out to be 51.08 but NUL is defined as H multiplied by LC which is same as L divided by K. So we know the value of L and K in the given data. So L we will put up equals to 5 meter and K will put up as 0.213. So we can able to calculate the value of H. So value of H will be 0.1 watts per meter square per Kelvin area of the heat transfer available is length multiplied by width length is given as 5 width he has considered to as unit width so we'll take it 1 so area will be 5 meter square and heat transfer by convection is given by area multiplied by h multiplied by temperature difference that is tw minus t infinity area is 5 h is 2 point wall temperature is 90 and the fluid temperature is 30 so that will be equals to 636 watts in addition to this we want to calculate drag force so let's calculate first CFL which is equals to CD but remember the coefficient is available for CFL is given as 1.328 into Reynolds to the base on length to the power minus 0.5 so total number is 5538 so you can substitute for this and multiply 328 your answer will be 0 0.0178 that is the CFL now use the to half into CD into rho into infinity square. CD substitute as 0 0.0718. Half rho density is given in the problem is 956.8. Area is known to us is 5. And the velocity square is 0 0.08. So this answer will come in Newton and approximately the answer come out to be drag force come out to be 0.272 newton nitrogen at a pressure of 0 0.01 atmosphere flows over a flat plate with a velocity of 8 meter per second gas temperature is minus 20 and the plate temperature is plus 20 I mean the length of the plate for the flow to be turbulent and you have to take the critical Reynolds number is 5 into 10 to the power 5 you also want to find out the delta hx and delta tx as well as the average heat transfer coefficient for the plate length of 0.3 so we have with this data 8 infinity is 8 meter per second and the plate length is 0.3 meter so this represents leading edge and this represents the trailing edge x equals to 0 and x equal to l the flow is parallel to the length and having infinity velo u infinity velocity so we have since the velocity is given is a problem of force convection a flow is taking place over the plate that is why it is the external flow and the geometry we are using is a flat plate in this case we are given the maximum number is 5 into 10 to the power 5 so entire flow will be laminar and at trailing edge critical error number is 5 into 10 to the power 5 now in, in this problem the properties are not given so to find the property we take the mean temperature of air which is the sum of tw plus t infinity divided by 2 that is equals to minus 20 plus 20 divided by 2 so that equals to 0 degree celsius so check your table index and at 0 degree celsius collect the property of air so property you have to collect is first is kinematic viscosity at 0 degree celsius is 13.3 10 to the power minus 6 meter square per second second property you have to collect is the prandial number that equals to 0.75 third property you have to collect is cp may require may not require but this value is 1030 joules per kg per kelvin and one more property is thermal conductivity k which required for calculation of Nusselt number is 0 0.0243 watts per meter per kelvin now first of all we know the Reynolds number is uh, entire flow is laminar so we'll use the critical Reynolds number equation and using this one we'll try to find out the length l required we have rel equals to 
5 into 10 to the power 5 that is given in the problem and this equals to u infinity multiplied by l divided by kinematic viscosity. So we have 5 into 10 to the power 5 velocity is given as 8 meter per second length we don't know kinematic viscosity taken from property as 13.3 10 to the power minus 6. So we get the value of l that equals to 0.8 meter 83 meters. So up to 0.83 we are maintaining the laminar flow and after 0.83 meters the flow becomes turbulent. We also want to calculate the thermal boundary layer thickness and hydronomic boundary layer thickness but we want to calculate at distance 0.3 which is less than 0.8 so these are the local value. So let's consider the section at x equal to 0.3 naturally at x equal to 0.3 our flow is laminar so you have to use the same table of laminar for force convection external flow and flat plate. In this table we will find one equation that is delta hx. So find out delta hx we first require Reynolds number so local Reynolds numbers we have to calculate at x equals to 0.3 is given by u infinity multiplied by x divided by nu u infinity is 8 x value we have to substitute as 0.3 and kinematic viscosity is 13.3 10 to the power minus 6 so this value of round number is at x equals to 0.3 that come out to be 1.84 10 to the power 5 so value of so value of delta hx for laminar flow is 5 into 10 to the power 5 into x into Rex to the power minus 0.5. So let's substitute for this. We have x equals to 0.3, and in all local Reynolds number we are just calculated is 1.84 into 10 to the power 5, and whole thing power is minus 0.5. So this answer will come in meters is 3.49 10 to the power minus 3 meter. So this time the hydronic boundary layer thickness is very small is 3.49 mm. In the same table you will also find one equation for thermal boundary layer thickness. We have used this in the previous. The thermal boundary layer thickness in the same table will find out delta hx multiplied by Prandtl number to the power minus 0.3. Delta hx is 3.49, so we get the answer in mm. Prandtl number we are to is known to us is 0.75 to the power minus 0.33. So delta Tx will come out to be 3.92 mm. We want to also find out the average heat transfer coefficient over the length table. But in the table again NUX is available. So NUX is known to us is 0.332. Rex to the power 0.5. Prandtl to the power 0.33. So we want to, we want to calculate only for 0.3. So we will get a local Reynolds number is 1.84 10 to the power 5 and whole thing to the power 5, 0.5. Prandtl number is 0.75 to the power 0.33. So local Nusselt number come out 125. Now for laminar flow the total Reynolds number is always two times of local Nusselt number. So you just multiply 125 you will get 250 that is Nusselt number. But Nusselt number is given by HL by K and we know the value of L. This time we want to only calculate for 0.3 so we will put L equals to 0.3. Don't put the value L equals to 0.83 because we need to calculate only for 0.3 meters. And the value of K is 0.0243 so we get the value of H. So remember there is always a mistake that you put L equals to 0.83. Don't put 0.83 because requirement is only for 0.3. So H is equals to 20.24 watts per meter square Kelvin. That is the average transfer.